Hey guys, I want to apologize in advance for the way the audio sounds. The Video Mic Pro crapped itself out towards the middle and end of the video, so I had to raise the equalizer up in post-production in order for you to hear some of my dialogue. So just bear with it and try to enjoy the video if you can. Ah, uh, what are we doing today? It's the maiden voyage of the Hobie Outback that I just purchased. I've got it all rigged up. I'm running on fumes because I was up till late last night working on her. I've got everything installed with the exception of my rod holder. That's going to have to wait until midweek until I can finish that thing up. But uh, we've got a small break in the weather. I've got a window of opportunity to get out there. I just called Sealy's up and Scott has put away a box of blood worms for me. So, Scott, thank you. I'll be there shortly. <laughs> we got the goods. Let's hurry up, get loaded. We gotta go get the kayak and uh, get right out there. Maiden voyage of the Hobie Outback 2017 model with the uh, Lowrance Elite 7Ti. Okay, first time I'm using this thing, so it's gonna take me a little while to get it all set up. Uh, man, oh gosh, you know what? I have zero hooks, zero weights. I don't have any tackle trays with me. How did I do this? Oh my gosh, how did I do this? I left with zero tackle. Oh, I cannot believe I did this. What a bonehead move. I've got to go back to the truck and figure out what I'm going to do. I took out the only weight that I had inside the truck too, so that's going to be a, a bummer if I can't come up with anything to get down there with. These kind gentlemen are lifesavers. They gave me a three ounce weight. I took off and left the tackle tray since I've got the new boat. And uh, I just came completely unprepared and they are willing to, to help me out. Yeah, please, uh, if, if you don't mind. I've got two rods and they're pretty stout. So anything like a two, a one, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank y'all so much. You're welcome. By the way, I'm, I'm Mark. Chris. Nice to meet you, Chris. What's your name? Jack. Jack, nice to meet you. All right. I really appreciate it. Him, Thank you all. Without my sinker slides, uh, it's going to be rough trying to fish the same way that I normally always fish, but I've managed to rig something up. I've got a regular swivel that I'm using, and uh, I'm hoping that it's going to work. Uh, without a doubt, it should work. Uh, if it doesn't, oh well, at least I tried, right? I'm already marking fish which is a really good sign. Get a blood worm hooked up. Get it down there. Thread it like a needle. Let's put this up front so I can see exactly what's going on until I get my rod holders installed. I want to be able to see what's going on. I don't want this stuff behind me. Next thing you know, there's only six inches holding my rod from uh, going overboard if I catch something. Let me show you guys what I'm looking at. All these fish. Check all that out right there. Nothing but fish. About 15, in between 15 and 20 feet of water. Boy the money load baby let's get one nice beautiful extra large blood worm going down there bring me fame bring me fortune guys if y'all could hear what my wife is saying I told her that I'm seeing like well there's more than six fish now it's like a freaking it's crazy but she's saying they're all talking to each other saying like is it safe talking about the hook the bait that's because that's the way fish think oh my gosh there i mean there are tons and tons of fish right here wow and 
nothing bite. I think I've got one toying around with it. I mean, oh, there we go. Oh my gosh, the screen is just, it's lit up. It's like a Christmas tree. I don't think that was a bite. I think that was the fish swimming along my line. Holy smokes, man. Got a new battery on. At least that was the one thing that I thought of. I got a new fish finder, so I'm not sure how long the batteries were gonna last. Approximately four or five hours. At this point, the mic has completely stopped working, so enjoy this music, guys. guys do not ever mess around with your Lorantz whenever you're fighting a fish uh, I'm still learning how to use this thing and I don't even know how to mark a waypoint so that's what I was fumbling around with instead of paying attention to the fish I had every opportunity to land this thing instead boom look at that right there hook is spit that could have been the proper fish to slime the kayak with and that was a decent sized one too I got a great look at it and instead, there he goes swimming away. I didn't even get to pull him up for the camera so that y'all could see. Uh, yeah, do not do that. It's been approximately an hour later and I'm starting to mark fish on the Lowrance again. So what I do right here is lower the line so that my bait can go down to the depth that they're swimming at. And one sees it immediately, decides to tap it right there. I'm getting excited by now because I've been fishless for uh, quite a while and being that I missed the other one it kind of sucked so what I'm doing is feeling the line to see if there was anything on it there sure enough was set the hook and <laughs> here we go guys this behemoth takes the bait and that is the first fish that I catch out of the Hobie Outback not much of a slimy but let's just hope that this isn't a sign of things to come in the near future uh, all I can do is hope to catch some really big fish here soon to properly slime it. Okay fellas, that's it. Day is done. That bad weather that was forecasted is finally here. It's right off into the distance. And I am not going to stick around to play around with Mother Nature. Had a really good time coming back out. Did not get skunked. Managed to hook into several fish. Lost them though. Especially that one that came right at the end of the kayak. Just like literally right here. I could have just picked them up. But I was fumbling around with Lowrance so forfeited that fish. Uh, a little schoolie that I did catch. I got the boat slimed. Not much of a slimy but uh, next week for sure when I go down to J Bay to fish the tournament. Without a doubt. I'm pretty sure the blue fish are gonna be there. Uh, nice stripers. The fluke should be in season, so be able to catch some of those. I'm just looking for a good time. Sorry that I didn't put a, uh, sorry that I could not put on a better show for you guys, but I was chomping at the bit to get out here, put the the outback on the water, and so initial thoughts for the outback. I absolutely love this seat. This seat is, oh my gosh. I like it a lot more than the pro angler seat. And the main reason is because I've got a small body, small frame. The frame for this seat 
it just fits my body type way better than the big outback i mean not the outback the uh the big pro angler seat that seat is comfortable in comparison to hobie's old seats but uh this one right here it takes the cake if i could put this seat on the pro angler man i'd do it in a heartbeat uh, i've got to thinking maybe i'll take a look at it since i own this seat now see if there's anything that i can do to fit it to the pro angler and uh, if i can get that pro angler on the water it's going to be awesome well like i said i better hurry up stop talking because that weather is just it moved in the sun's gone and i need to hurry up and load up before i get soaked uh any comments that you guys would like to leave just leave them down below and until next time fellas tight lines